Merry Christmas. I'm Wells President Mark Schrader. Wells is incredibly blessed to be able to send missionaries out into the various parts of North America and the whole world to preach the good news of Christ to all creation. And although that invitation to do so from Jesus himself is an exciting one, it can also come with challenges. That's why the support that Wells members from across our synod give to our missionaries and their families is so vital. Pastor Andrew Johnston serves as a Wells World missionary with his wife Cindy and their five children. Just weeks after their third child was born in Antigua, the newborn ran a fever. When little guys get fevers, it's, it's usually some, you know, they, they worry about it because it could be some really serious stuff. So Cindy brought her baby to the local hospital to see the pediatrician. They ran tests on him and did some blood work. You know, obviously as a mom, you're, you're just worried. I'm looking at the tests they're running and the, the blood work they're doing and everything they're doing, and I'm saying, oh my goodness, is this, is this right? Is this what we should be doing? So, for some confirmation, Cindy was connected with a Wells member in the United States who is also a pediatrician. I'm sending him test results and sending him, you know, all the medications they're prescribing and the dosages and everything they were doing just to double check. A lot of the physicians there were very, very good and definitely knew their stuff. But, you know, you just, you just worry because it's different. Being outside of our comfort zone can certainly be worrisome at times. But thanks be to God, in the end, the Johnston's son was okay and his fever passed. But Cindy says she's extremely thankful for the support that Wells members provided to her family. It was just an unbelievably blessing to be able to text him throughout the process and throughout everything and, and just, um, you know, get his encouragement and his support and his um, confirmation. Sometimes that support happens on an individual level. And other times, it happens on a larger scale, such as at gatherings of the Lutheran Women's Missionary Society, or LWMS. Wells missionaries trekked to Africa in 1953 and established a church in the country we now call Zambia. Or at Taste of Missions, held at Wisconsin Lutheran Seminary. Vicki! I am super excited about the work. It's never fun to be excited about something and have other people shrug their shoulders. So when you go to something like an LWMS convention or Taste of Missions, it is such encouragement to be around people who are just ex as excited as I am about the work of the gospel in other places. I mean, we've got so many people um, who are supporting us in this work, and uh, it just it feels really good to know that they're behind us and, um, and praying for us and eager to see us succeed, you know, uh, as we go with God's word. LWMS and Taste of Missions are wonderful ways that members of Wells churches can learn about various mission work that Wells is doing both in North America and around the world, directly from those who are in the field. You're hearing the missionaries talk about their work. That's really not easy work. Um, you know, they, they don't have individuals welcome them all the time. Um, sharing Jesus is not necessarily something that is welcomed in specific countries or even here in the United States at times. Sometimes our missionaries are on islands preaching the good news. Other times, it might feel like they are on spiritual islands, working in a culture and society that is so distant from God. But through the encouragement and enthusiasm of supporters, these missionaries and their families can God willing, feel a little less alone. That enthusiasm is kind of contagious. This huge group of people that's just standing behind you and supporting and singing their guts out. Like, it's just so cool to be a part of that. Support of these missionaries is so beneficial because their work is so vital that others might know of the peace and hope that only Jesus brings. To everyone in the pew, to everyone um, who gives offerings, gives prayers, sends a letter to a missionary, befriends a mission, anyone who does that, just thank you because it, it, it does not go unnoticed. It is so, so appreciated. And I always felt like um, a number of times over the years, 
you know, that letter came at just the right time, you know, where you were struggling or having trouble with something and, and it just showed up and it's, it's super cool. So thank you very, very much. Supporting missionaries, their families, and their work can happen in many different ways, such as attending one of these events, writing them a personalized message of encouragement, praying for their work, and supporting financially through your gifts. We thank you for all of the ways that you support Wells Mission Work, and if you'd like to learn more about how you can join these important efforts, visit wells.net forward slash missions.